Hi guys, David from Full Proxy Labs here in the UK. In this video, we're going to build on the Okta AD authentication we configured in our last video by adding the Okta Verify for multi-factor authentication. This graphic shows the high-level overview showing the process flow between the user and the F5 uh, SAML service provider and Okta IDP. Essentially, the user browser contacts the SAML F5 service provider, which is our F5 APM, it is referred for a valid SAML assertion token. Um, the referral goes to Okta. We log in using our AD authentication, as we did in the previous video. Um, we are then further prompted with the Okta Verify push notification request to our mobile phone. We accept the request. Okta validates that request and generates a SAML assertion, um, which is now valid. That goes back to the client browser. The client browser then comes back into the F5 APM or SAML service provider, and then access is granted based on the validity of that token. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do once we're logged in is go to our admin dashboard and enable the Okta Verify capability. Under the Okta Verify section, select active and ensure that you have enable for push notifications checked. Next, we'll update our published application's default sign-on rules to specifically assign people and security attributes as per our requirements. We'll do this by creating a new sign-on rule. As we can see here, we've just got a standard default rule for all users at the moment. Just click on this. And if we give the rule a meaningful name, Add specific AD users or groups as required. Note that we have left the options fairly open here just for demo purposes, and these should be locked down further to provide a more comprehensive security posture. Now, if we go back to our sign on policy overview, uh, we can see that we've got a new um, custom policy here set to priority one, which will take precedence over the default policy. Now, let's test it out. Open a web browser and browse to the protected web resource. Sign in as normal using your AD credentials. And when prompted, click to send a push notification to your smartphone. Here we can see our push notifications being received. So we'll just click to approve access. Back to the web browser and we can see that the Okta Verify challenge has been successfully processed and we're now able to access the web application using the Okta generated SAML assertion. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be replacing the Okta Verify with YubiKeys for those that require a hard token method for multi-factor auth. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time.